Hi friends, if you are watching this video, it is probably because you have purchased our Christ Will Hold You Fast pattern. Now, the mountain in this pattern uses a little more of a thread painting technique, and so that might be new to some of y'all. So I wanted to do a quick little tutorial to show you how to do this. This is not gonna be a full tutorial. I'm not gonna walk through the whole mountain with you, but I wanna give you the gist of what you're gonna be doing so that you can go and do it yourself and do it successfully. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our lightest color and we're gonna make a back split stitch outline just on the top of our mountain right here. Once we have our little outline of the top of the mountain done, we need to make a little bit of a guide to help us know what direction we're moving down the mountain. So I'm gonna start right in the middle here and make a stitch. So I kind of know where my center line is. I'm gonna tuck it just a little bit under those back stitches in the outline. Do one here to the right. And then one here to the left. And these just help give you a nice um, flow to your stitching so that your stitching doesn't end up too vertical, but instead kind of spreads out a little bit since the mountain is smaller at the top and bigger at the bottom. Now from here, you're just going to fill it in with some back split stitches. So I'm gonna fill in right next to that guide I made and go up. And if you want to work from left to right and then move down and split the top stitches you can or if you want to go right from where I'm at now and go down and go ahead and split that stitch you can. Whoop, my flask got cut. So you could go straight into splitting stitches or again you can move to the left or to the right sorry and keep filling in a little bit. Now with this top portion done, you can really start splitting those top stitches now. I prefer to kind of come right below and split the stitch right above it and just work from right to left and then left to right until I have fully filled it in. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of an example of that. I'm not gonna fill in this whole area. And don't feel like you need to split um, directly above if you need to stitch a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left so that you can keep that movement then feel free to do that some stitches are going to be longer some are going to be a little bit shorter to help keep that movement And these guides we have here show for this is for the first color, this is for the second color, and this will be the third color. I obviously just traced just the mountain portion of the design so you can't see where it hits the hill right underneath here. And these are just um, simple guides if you want your first color to go farther you can don't feel like you have to fill right to this spot right here it can kind of go over it a little bit it can come above it a little bit it's just a general guide of how far you want that first color to go how far you want the second color to go and the third color of course has to stop at the very bottom All right, so I made it all the way to the left, and now what I would do is just go back to the right, splitting the stitches right above it until I have fully filled in this top section. Then I would grab my next color and start doing the exact same thing, just continuing to fill 
starting here at the bottom and going into those top stitches. You wanna make sure you're splitting the lighter color with the next darker color. Um, that way you get a nice blended effect. So I'm gonna stitch for a little bit and come back at the very end and just explain a few more things. of time this is where I'm going to stop but a few things to note so just like we did in this color up here I stopped right here so I then would come down below and just keep going to the left until I have filled in this whole second section and then I'd come in with my darker color and do the exact same thing you may have noticed that the browns I don't want them to always split in the same spot so this is a little higher a little lower lower higher just try not to make sure or try to make sure your stitch does not always meet in the same spot so you don't end up with a curve here but a nice kind of um, texture that blends the colors well so that's what I've got for you I think this is enough information for you to be able to complete this mountain on your own but if you need any help please feel free to reach out and I'm happy to help